Oh, hi! Didn't see you. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I got a few questions regarding price. How much did I spend for the Raspberry Pi with the Venus OS installation and stuff like that and maybe a couple components for that as well? I thought maybe I'll give you a really quick rundown, just a quick overview, what components I bought to basically try to copy, or call it copy, the Victron Cerebox GX. Oh wait, it's the Victron Cerebro GX. And to explain that, I went back in my orders and looked it up. What did I pay for that stuff? So just to put it in perspective, I just looked up up to date today's price. I checked on uh, Amazon for Victron Servo GX, just a monitoring box where you can connect a bunch of sensors and everything else and uh, via direct cables and stuff like that from different Victron components. That unit itself cost about 294.95, so let's say 295 dollars currently without tax. If you want to have a visual screen, then you could buy the optional um, GX Touch 50, which is another $221 on top without taxes as well. We try to compare. It's very hard because the server GX is definitely powerful. You can connect probably a couple more sensors if you want to to it, maybe via cable. Not necessarily. I never I never compared it. So I also never had it in my hand. So I'm not able to compare that unit. I'm just comparing it price-wise right now. Um, but it looks very capable to be honest. Compared to the DIY solution with a Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi itself, when you buy it in a package with a little power supply, which just for the wall outlet is, but also with some heat sinks and stuff like that, then you get a price of $59.99, so $60 probably. You could get an optional touchscreen for that if you want to, to have something visual so, visual, so you would probably get this remote console and then you would spend another, at least, I guess, 60 bucks, um, probably, 61.99 for a five inch uh, touchscreen display. But you don't have to, that's optional as I mentioned, and I have a video coming out pretty soon about that touchscreen as well. But uh, you also need a, or should probably have some housing and maybe a separate power supply for the 12 volt battery to connect it to that if you don't want to put it in your inverter, which is another $21.88. That means when we just want to compare Victron Servo GX with the Raspberry Pi DIY solution and putting a lot of your own work in that, you know, downloading the image, preparing the image, applying the image, installing, configuring things like the Wi Fi. Um, there might be some obstacles if you don't, if you're not very tech savvy. But I would assume if you do stuff with uh, solar, solar panels, and you do it yourself, you might have you know that knowledge and capability to learn that stuff. I did that too. You end up with uh, eighty-one point eighty-seven dollars for the Raspberry Pi solution. Not talking about any VE direct USB cables and stuff like that, not at all. But compared to the Servo GX from Victron, which is two hundred ninety-four point ninety-five. It's a small difference. I just want to give you a little overview about, of that. Subscribe to the channel. If you have more questions about other accessories and stuff like that, what I use, please feel free to leave some comments. And also please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like that and also like the video, that would be amazing. Thank you for watching. Tschüss.